up guys uh, I wanted to make a video on this very controversial topic that is going around today um, the California exhaust law so as some of you may know or may not know or may not even know that California is strict on exhaust like vehicle emissions all that bullshit um, it's back to how it was last year so this year starting January 1st uh, the exhaust lot changed to where it's no longer I want to say correctable even though they still require you to correct it and pay a fine so previously you didn't necessarily have to correct it they give you the option to correct it or pay a fine and starting in 2019 uh, they changed that law to where you can only flip magic of editing that gets cut out they changed it to where you have to pay the fine and show proof of correction um, which is a big deal because some of us have highly modified cars and if we get the state referee it's very bad for us to the point where it's not even worth correcting it uh, it's, you're better off selling the car which in my case I sold my turbo m3 because of the state referee situation even though I didn't have to um, as far as my step state referee situation it was a little bit different because it happened right at the end of last year so I still kind of fell under last year's law so I did pay the fine uh, luckily mine was only a $200 fine some people have been hit with a higher fine like six to eight hundred depending on what they get you for uh, some people get the fine for modified emissions modified exhaust luckily not luckily but I guess I lucked out and I got just modified exhaust which was only a $200 fine paid it online dismissed my car was ready to go back to driving on the road but I didn't want to get roughed again so that's why I sold the car um, little did I know the law was gonna change within what is it it's October so it would have changed in 10 months and I would have been perfectly fine um, what else do I have to say about this I guess it's better than before or it's back to how it was before not necessarily better than before better how than how it was these past 10 months because right in the beginning as some of you may know uh, they were highly enforcing it like to the point where they were state refing stock cars like stock bmw m4s m3s challengers hellcats all those they were all getting state ref because those from the factory come with a loud exhaust um, pretty sure they're way over 95 decibels my car probably wasn't even it's was probably 92 93 very quiet I'll insert the whole situation what happened with that I have like a whole Instagram story I'll go ahead and insert that into this video um, basically I was doing nothing wrong got pulled over got state ref so enjoy the next clip so I keep on getting questions about the state ref that I got yesterday I'm just getting too many to constantly be replying the same thing so I'm just gonna explain what happened so I'm stopped at the red light, right? And I look at my rear view mirror, I see a cop pulls up out of an alley right behind me. I'm like that's it, I'm getting pulled over. Light turns green, I'm making a left. And uh, I take off like as quiet as I can. My car's not even that loud, like listen. It's pretty quiet. Like, there's a lot of stock cars that are louder than this. So right away the cop turns on his lights. I pull over, of course. And he comes up to my window greets me introduces himself really nice guy by the way um, but he's still a cop and then uh, from there so he pulls me over and then asks about the exhaust um, he's like I know obviously this is not stock it's not the way it came out of the factory so I'm like yeah whatever blah 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 I bought the car this way and then he asks for license and registration and all that bullshit and then he asks me, oh, is the car stock under the hood? Yeah, I'm like, yeah, it's bone stock. You know, it's like, well, really, no cold air intakes or anything? I'm like, yeah, no. He's like, yeah, these BMWs, they come pretty perfect from the factory. Don't need to do much to them. But like, yeah, yeah, I just agreed with them. But... And then from there, um, and then right before he's gonna go to his car to check everything, um, I had my foot like this so it's covering my gauge and I put it down and he notices it right there. 
like, so what's your air fuel ratio gauge for? Flashes his light right at it. I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, that gauge you have right there. I'm like, oh, I don't know. It just came with the car. He's like, oh, you don't have any aftermarket fuel pressure regulators to adjust fuel pressure. I'm like, no, none of that. He's like, oh, okay. Whatever. He forgets about it. And then I'm just sitting in the car. I'm like, yeah, that's it. I'm getting state ref. And then he comes up to the window. He's like, okay, I'm giving you this state referee. Um, it's an exhaust, non-correctable. From what I've heard, those you can just pay off and get away with it. You don't always have to correct it, but I don't know yet. I'll find out soon. But yeah, that's how I got state ref for literally doing nothing. So yeah, that's my state ref situation. Um, just wanted to update you guys, like kind of what's going on. A lot of people have been actually asking me because I guess I made, I put it up on my Instagram story that the law is back, but people wanted to know more about it. So I thought I'd made a, make a video on it rather than replying to the like 20 DMs I have about it. But yeah. I'm also going to go ahead and leave some links in the description if you guys want to read up on it. Maybe I didn't touch every single point about it, but I kind of summarized what's going on with it. My point of view might be right, might be wrong. Just what I understood from it, my personal experience with it. So yeah, go ahead and click on those links, read up on it. I'll do some more reading on it too because I'm just speaking off the top of my head. That's it for this video. We have some special stuff coming to the M3 um, if you guys aren't new to the channel and you kind of have been following me if you follow me on instagram you'll know so go ahead and follow me on instagram and you'll see what's coming to them three but see you in the next video